Well, the trees have budded out. Dropped all last year's leaves almost. There might be a few. It's a white oak there. It's got a little in them. But anyway, uh, gonna go around and vacuum up all of the leaves that fallen into the flower beds and into the ditches. Gonna you be using the uh, BX23S. It has a power takeoff driven. track back. I'm going to just be using the hose. Didn't even put the mower under it. So I'll be just using that vacuum hose there and sucking them up. Might have to get the leaf blower out and blow them out of the flower beds. I don't know. I'll see how it works out. Uh, probably going to just put you up on the tripod and let you just watch a little bit how it works. <laughs>
Okay, that wraps this up. Uh, I'm gonna go do the area around my shop. It uh, has a little wall around it and it seems to collect leaves, so I'll go do that next. This blower is a BR450C. It has electric start on it. When you're old like me, you don't like taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on to start it. Basically, you got a button right here that you push. What my plan is, is to turn this tractor on right down here and blow these leaves into that vacuum. I haven't tried it, just got this blower. My old blower did pretty good, it was a little handheld. So we'll see how that works. Hang with me.
Well, I guess I'd have to say rake is quicker, rake is easier, but ain't near as much fun. All in all, it's a success. Okay, so back here at the compost pile. Gonna empty these leaves out. Haven't looked in there, don't know how many of them we actually picked up. But uh, my guess is it's probably, I don't know, maybe that full. Don't know, haven't looked. Not gonna cheat you, just see them for ourselves. This thing with the with the mower on, it reduces the leaves by ten times their original size. With the without the mower, just running them through the vacuum, they uh, probably half that. Let's say. A fourth of what they were maybe there's what we got I'll uh, empty that out and then uh, we'll go take this off take the cart off and come back and uh, turn it into the compost pile If you're curious, I think that pile represents about 17 or 18 of those trailer loads, okay? Next step is, as soon as the pastures dry out a little bit, I'm gonna go pick up a load of cow manure on my trailer. And then I'll push that pile back over there out of the way and I'll rebuild it right back where it was with the cow manure mixed in. Then it'll start to bake. This is last year's pile. This one is a year old. It's a leaf mulch. I used it on the garden. And this one here, complete with weeds, It's pretty much dirt. 
I'll turn it, turn those weeds inside and see if I can kill them. And this one over here is the fourth pile. And it's even a year older. And as you can see, it is fine dirt. Composted dirt. I use it in the yard, won't put it in the garden, has too many weeds in it, but it's great for mixing half and half with soil and getting starters in uh, uh, places in the yard where I want to patch it in. So, now I think it's about time, oop, picked up some trash. I think it's about time I head up there to the house, grab me a bite to eat, and think about spending the afternoon running that vacuum over that yard. Have to put the mower on. Be something to think about anyway. I found this footage in my archives when I was trying to find some videos of uh, using that backpack blower because I'm working on a video now where I go through and uh, show some of the unique features it has. But at any rate, uh, I realized it was a waste of time. It would have been a lot easier to rake those leaves up than to try to blow them in there. But I had fun doing it, and I hope you did too. Appreciate you watching, and if you don't mind, uh, hit that like button.